Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to my creative year for July. We are here in the beginning of the month with the tip or review or that thing. <laughs> um, okay, because our topic this month is actually tips, I'm actually going to, in my review, give you some tips. And our prompt for the first week is favorite go-tos. So I am going to um, tell you what my favorite things are and give you some tips, hopefully. Um, these are some of my favorites. I, I love all my supplies, of course. And you can never, you know do bad by having some stencils. These are uh, my from my design line and um, I have some stencils that have four designs on each one. And here's your first tip, cut them apart. So they come, a lot of designers will make stencils with four or more designs on the stencil. Cut them apart. These are way easier to not only travel with but to use in your journal. I, I love them so I always have a bag of small stencils right literally right here by my desk everybody talks about what pen to use in your journals they hem and haw over it and which one's going to write over this or that ballpoint pen <laughs> plain old big ballpoint pen it does its job it writes almost over almost anything nothing will write effectively over oil pastels but this will write over most everything else and they're cheap, they're um, easy to find. This one is your regular Bic Ballpoint. This is the Bic Bold. Uh, is that what it's called? No, I don't know. It's Bic Crystal 1.6 millimeter. And this one is just your standard Bic Crystal. I don't know what size it is. Both in black, um, easy, easy to find, easy to use, and inexpensive. White paint pen. You don't gotta get fancy. If you want to, that's fine. But this is just a Sharpie, water-based, White paint pen. It works great. It's always reliable. Never, I've never had a problem with them clogging or anything. And yeah, in, again, inexpensive, easy to find. I love this. Water brush and my Pilot Varsity disposable fountain pen. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know these are my favorite things. Whether I'm home or not, <laughs> if I'm going to grab supplies to take with me somewhere, these are the things I grab. That's why I'm showing you these. All right, the minimum. Minimum that I grab, my journal, and these is the minimum. I don't even always bring color, but I bring these. There's nothing, um, um, in my opinion, um, more fun to have in your room. It's not a necessity, but a, an exacto knife. This is a new one to me. This is a, um, by Olfa. And I do have my reading glasses on. I don't know what it's called. Art. It's an Olfa art knife. And I like this one because it has a nice small blade. Um, and when I want to do some delicate cutting, this is a regular. And this is the Olfa. So when you want to do some delicate cutting, like stencil cutting, this one is great and you can do, do with this one, um, but it's a little bit clunky for some things. And um, I'm really loving this one. It's a new favorite. When you want to do cutting, especially like paper cutting like this, it's easier done with less mistakes with a smaller blade. And that's in a another video, so I'll, if it's already been aired, I'll link it down below. If it hasn't been aired yet and there's no link below, it's because it's coming soon. Um, <clears throat> of course, a small pair of scissors, a pencil. A white gel pen is handy. Now, I'm not a personal fan of jelly roll pens. I seem to have nothing but problems with them. They clog up all the time. They drive me crazy, but I lo do love the Uniball Signo. It's a little bit, for me, more... Um, difficult sometimes to get, but if I go to the office supply store, they usually have them in packs of two or three, so that works, and there's always, of course, Amazon. Watercolors. You knew that was coming, didn't you? If you've been watching this channel for a while, my favorite brand on the planet, Daniel Smith. You don't have to have a brand like this or a <clears throat> palette that big, but watercolors are great because they can give you a lot of color, a big bang for the um, buck, and they're easily portable. 
So if you want to take them with you, they're not wet. They're not going to leak. Yeah. So I love, I love my watercolors. I can take them with me on the road. I can add a little color to a page. Now, if you're working in a journal like this one with thin paper that's not meant for watercolor media, you don't want to get it too wet. But you can usually do a little bit of something with this. And the other thing, my latest and greatest favorite thing, my Bible gel high gliders. Now, this is something else. If you've been watching my channel, you know they come in a lot of colors. I think that's all of them. Yeah, so 10 colors. You can get a 10 color pack at Amazon. Oops. Um, I obviously bought these at different times because some of them are fat ones, some of them are skinny ones. But these, again, are great to take with you when you're out and about doing your art because they aren't going to leak. And they'll give you some nice color. They are water soluble before they dry, so you can move them around with a baby wiper or, or your water brush. Um, I frequently, when I'm sketching, use all of these together. Um, and usually my travel art bag has these things in it. So those are some of my favorite things this month. And I, <clears throat> I hope that gives you some ideas of the things that you can do. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Um, if you don't want to get into watercolor paint, you're like, I just don't want to go there. I like the idea of the other stuff. And I'll, of course, don't forget glue stick. I my favorite is Yuhu. Um, a lot of brands, Amsterdam included, and Liquitex make these little tiny <clears throat> baby tubes of paint. They are 0.7 fluid ounces, and the Liquitex one is. Let's see. 0.74. These are great for traveling. They're not really, I mean, I wouldn't buy them for any other reason because they're awfully small and they're like a little bit pricey for how much paint is in them. But that being said, if you have a coupon and you can get these cheaply and you're going to take wet paint with you on the road especially or you just want to dabble in paint without spending a ton of money, these little baby tubes are great or... Don't just don't forget about your craft paints. There's nothing wrong with them. They're great. All right. And then of course baby wipes. <laughs> baby wipes, baby wipes. It's my like if you're going to buy nothing else as far as tools for your art room, get yourself some baby wipes cuz trust me, you're going to need them for one thing or the other. All right, that's it for today. I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do. If I can, I'm going to try to remember to Put a link of these uh, for these items in the description below if you're cu curious about looking any of them up. And <clears throat> don't think you have to spend a lot of money even on your journal. This is an old moleskin uh, weekly notebook from 2017 that I picked up at the Goodwill for three bucks. So you can use anything. You can use junk mail. You can use um, an old planner. You can use anything. It doesn't actually have to be a fancy paper notebook. Just use what you have. Um, and that's probably my biggest tip this month. Use what you have. Don't go out and buy anything special. Use what you have. Uh, that's it for today. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys.